quantitative flow measurement and try to use it to actually understand the property of the quark gluon plasma and its transport properties. So, um, so one thing you can see is that also eluded from the previous uh, simulations uh, animation is that if you add increase the shear viscosity values, you will get suppression of the VN coefficient, especially higher order VNs will get actually larger suppression. So here you have plot the VNs from the viscous calculations divided by the VN of the ideal calculations. As you can see from here, I plot all the ends. So V1 is these uh, ratios. The ratio of V1 is these plots. And the blue point is with a smaller shear viscosity around 0.08. And the red point is a part uh, larger shear viscosity with 0.20. As you can see, when I increase shear viscosity, this ratio goes down, means that the VN coefficients actually got suppressed by a large shear viscosity. And also you can see the ratio in the high order VNs actually much smaller than the lower order VNs, which means that the high order VNs, say V4, V5, and V6, are more sensitive to the viscous effects and they are more suppressed when you have a finite shear viscosities. So, from, so you can now compare the V2 measurements, V3 and V4 measurements, for, for example, here shown by at least measurements compared to the sim hydrodynamic simulations with different value of shear viscosities. So from, you, can, you can calculate with ideal hydro, which give you this dashed curve, and you can calculate with a more viscous case, uh, hydrodynamic with a more viscous case, which give you results which you can, will be underestimated experimental data. So you can fine tune these values about shear viscosity to get a better, to get the best comparison with the data for all, all these all orders of VN. So here, the, the, the best value here as example is about 0 0.1 or 0 0.095. So, so you can use this, um, this kind of tool to actually just read off the shear viscosity value by looking at the model to data comparisons of these VN coefficients. So this give you a, a summary here about the progress of the yearly progress about how uh, good our, uh, in our field to constrain the shear, uh, shear viscosities in, as a function of years. So, so you can see that at the early time, like around years 2000, there's only perturbative QCD calculations about the shear viscosity, which is valid at the very high temperatures uh, infinite high, very high temperatures, uh, much higher than the temperature that we can probe in the heavy ion collisions, then it has a parametric form in this way. And then as the year progress, you can see that um, uh, start from 2007, we had the first viscous hydrodynamics is, um, is, um, is implemented. You can see that the model to data comparison actually shrink down the error bar of the shear viscosity quite significantly from year 2007 to about year 2012. So you can see that the error bars constraints uh, from the terminology approach actually set a very strong constraint on the transport properties of quark plasma. So right now, uh, so conservative estimation of the QGP viscosity is up between one over four pi to 2.5 of times one over four pi. And, uh, and then in the future, and right now, actually we are not looking at just these values, but we are actually interested in its temperature dependence and also the value of bulk viscosity and the temperature dependence. More like, um, preferably, we also want to understand uh, even the high order transport coefficients like the second order transport coefficients like, uh, like those. So these are actually the new topic right now. We are actually looking at how to constrain the temperature dependence as well as the high order transport coefficients. So this needs to be uh, done not in, not in a way that I just show you demonstrating the previous slides by just tuning one single parameters but you actually need to have a, a systematic uh, explorations of how multiple, multiple parameters in the model can be configured at the same time. So this will be the topic of Bayesian analysis, which will be discussed in next week by John Francois and uh, Yi Chen uh, for these, uh, for these multi-parameters uh, uh, tunings uh, in, this, uh, in these extractions of the QGP transport properties. So let me now, just uh, give you a little bit of 